Hello, thank you for joining me. So in this film, I'd like to show you how to uh, put a parapet top on top of a wall. What a parapet top does is allows a, you to put a cap on top of the wall, kind of like a mini roof on top of a wall. And that would be appropriate in a situation where you don't have a roof, or if you have a roof, like in this situation, we're going to put a roof on top of our building, and it's going to be um, to the interior of our exterior wall. You know, that way, we're trying to profile the outside of the building, when you're looking at the building, it actually looks like a flat roof or maybe no roof at all, so the building actually looks rather squarish rather than have a typical house like a pitch roof on it. So, it's got its application, so let's go ahead and do that. What we're going to be doing is we're going to take an existing wall and keep the, the same contents of the wall, the uh, same material inside of that wall, but add a sweep to that wall in order to put a cap to the top of the wall. So we're going to take our, our exterior wall that we have in our... our uh, our project right now and we're going to make modifications to it. So we're going to go to, the, to edit type and if you don't have the preview here go ahead and click on preview and make sure that you go to the section portion of the preview because what we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting a cap on top of this and we want to be able to have a preview of that so we can see what we're doing before we actually say yes we want to you know continue on so let's go to duplicate we're going to keep the same name of the wall but add parapet to that and then go to OK go to edit and we've already, uh, we're, we're not going to change anything in here. We're going to keep the contents of the wall the same. But what we're going to do is go down into this area down here and we're going to do a sweep. There's other things too in here where you can actually merge and uh, change different sections of this wall to be different things at different times, different at different heights. But what we're going to concentrate now on is sweeps. Reveals are about to, or something very similar where instead of adding material, it actually takes away material. But uh, that's fodder for a different film. Sweeps is what we want. I'm going to add a profile or add a line up here in order to put that sweep in. So you can have multiple sweeps in here, but we're just going to have the one. It's going to be at the very top of the wall rather than embedded into the wall. And we're going to sweep a profile of a parapet, if you can believe that. So if you don't already have that selected, which you probably don't, let's go ahead and load profile. And it's in a folder called profiles. And if you want to do uh, a very good uh, presentation during your final project presentation on a toolbar use, we're going to show you how you could how a person could actually use some of these profiles in order to uh, dress up uh, their house with crown molding and other things. That's a really good thing to do. That's a really good thing to know. But we're going to choose parapet, and you can see the profile of that. So what it is is flat in the bottom, so it's right on top of the the you know the wall flat on the wall. It's going to be uh, you know, squarish on the sides, but pitched on the very top, so when the rain comes down, it's going to shed on one side or the other. And we're going to go to Open. Go to Profile. We're going to choose uh, the proper one, perhaps 14 inches wide. Material. We're going to define a new material for this. Um, let's go down to Masonry. And I don't think they have stone for Masonry, so let's go ahead and duplicate that by going to the Duplicate button. And instead of Masonry Brick, brick brick. We'll call that stone. And let's call that stone marble too, by the way. Just to keep the same uh, naming nomenclature in here, let's go ahead and uh, put some extra spaces in there. And then go to OK. So what we're looking for is a pair of a top that's going to be stone made out of marble. So let's go to appearance and pick the appearance that we want. So masonry there's stone for masonry. We can click uh, something there, or we could add uh, something of our own. We can actually go down to stone down here and uh, click down there. So what I'm looking for is uh, perhaps marble. Granite may not be bad. Let's do that. Square stacked granite. And we're going to add that. So we're going to go to OK. So there's our uh, profile. There's our material. Our distance. Our distance from the base, we don't really want the distance from the base. In fact, we'll put it right in the bottom. If we just did OK right now, you can see that instead of being on the top, it's down there in the bottom. So it's good to kind of go through and experiment with this. Uh, there's a lot of uh, different options in here that will uh, allow you to make changes here. And they have uh, they all do something different. So we're going to make it on the top. We're going to have a zero distance from the top, so we don't want it embedded into the wall, nor do we want it floating on top of the wall. And we're going to decide uh, which side of the wall we want it to be on. So let's do interior and see what that looks like and go to OK. So now it's on the interior, but uh, it looks like it's kind of short. Let's go ahead and fix that. So instead of uh, the 14 inch parapet, maybe 20 inch and go to OK and see what that looks like. So what that does is it lines everything up in interior and if there's any excess material, it's going to put it on the exterior is what that means. Let's go back to sweeps. 
Let's actually put it on the exterior and let's choose uh, the 16 inch, see what that looks like. That looks a lot better. It really fits the wall front and back. Sweeps again. So offset, we could do an offset. If we type in one in here for a one foot offset, see what that looks like. It's not very attractive, but it kind of gives you an idea what some of these settings do and you can uh, go through here, kind of play with some of these settings on your own. Flipping it, we'll turn it upside down. You definitely want it to have it cut walls. So when it goes into another wall, you want to make sure that it uh, it's, the sweep goes around that wall. So from this point, we're just going to go to OK and accept that. One more thing before we uh, leave that. Let's go back to our material and edit that material. Or at least edit to the way that looks. I don't really want it to look like red brick. Let's make that gray when we go to appearance. Surface pattern is not going to be a brick pattern, but maybe uh, if we have stone down here, maybe we could choose stone. Don't really see that, but sand probably would be good. And then go to OK. And OK again. So now it actually looks like a, a stone profile. And now we're going to go to OK. And go to OK again. And if we go to a 3D view, we should be able to see that parapet wall, at least on that one wall. And we're going to go ahead and select that wall for the other ones. So there's a parapet wall on the one wall. If we selected those other walls, by right clicking on that wall, Select all instances visible in that view. I'm going to take that wall and pick the one that says parapet. It should update it. And now all the walls are parapet wall. Now the next step for this is uh, to put a roof a little bit below the, the you know you know the top part of that wall on our roof level so that the flat roof is going to be actually below the edge of the, of the wall and the parapet top of the wall is going to be visible from the outside rather than having the roof visible. So thanks for joining me. Join me for other videos.